so is government. But let's look at East Cleveland. A diminishing tax base. What do I mean by diminishing? That means that it's, we're losing money. 17,800 population. We're losing money. I've heard so much tonight, and ultimately, I can say this to all of you, it will eventually be decided by the people. But the people have responsibility to educate themselves and hear both sides of the story. Uh -huh. No one on here is opposed to the mayor making a decent salary. But you also need to know that this council has not had a raise in 26, 27 years. So is one branch more important than the other? Or are, according to the, are we in this together? Or, or do we have a godfather running this operation? Or the pony or whatever the case may be? I'm asking the question. Are we in this together? Are we not? If you look at the process, everything that happens comes through the council. That's the way it was set up. We legislate and appropriate. It's a check and balance. That's how it works. Now the mayor's competent, but the council's competent too. But over the years, over the 12 so years that I've been on this council, all I've heard is the mayor, mayor, not just this one, the previous one. They never say anything about the council. We meet, we deliberate, we deal with issues, we do all that. Our role is just as important as his role. Amen. City of Cleveland Council was debating an issue that you saw in the paper. They didn't agree. I know what the issue was. To give 5.7 million to the Brown to fix up the Brown Stadium where it needs repair. Mm -hmm. That's the council. Ultimately, the mayor had to go to the council to get that approval. So nobody's knocking anyone, but are we not in this together? Are we not? I heard the ministers talk about together. One branch of government is no more important than the other. We're in this together, are we not? Right. I think we are. When I, when I, when, and let me talk about demolition, because it, it's, it's, it's on my heart right now. It's so easy to tear something down. Right. But it's more difficult to build something. Yes, so when they're tearing it down, who takes on ownership of the property? The Cobb County Land Bank does. It's a private, non-profit corporation. Mm -hmm. Where is the land? Where's all the land? The land is in East Cleveland. If you go up and down these streets, you see all the land. And guess what? You can get the land for a good deal. Better than what you get in Cleveland. Because those kinds of people are going to will and deal to get the best thing they can. So when you go down Euclid, and you look at Brightwood, and you look at Wadeen, and you look at the streets, all the vacant property. We welcome the development because it's going to help our tax base. But when you tear something down, it's gone. If we're going to turn around, we need people to move in these houses with jobs. Jobs! That gives us revenue. We have no new revenue. The red light cameras. The, the revenue has been going down consistently because people know where they are now. We need business development. We need people moving in the city that's going to buy the property, that's going to pay taxes. This is not a personal thing. This is a business. So let me close with this. Uh, nobody's opposed to anybody making a decent salary. We go on record for that. The charter stipulates what that salary is. We have. A six billion dollar deficit. We're working on a recovery plan. We got to deal with that. But the sad thing about that is we were in fiscal emergency for 18 years. We came out for four. We back. What is that all about? Look at it. Think about it. How could we have been in the longest in history in, in the state of Ohio fiscal emergency for 18 years? And now we're back. They call it a fiscal caution because they didn't have it when we first went in it. It's nothing but fiscal emergency when you cut right to it. We got to look at that. We got to balance that. Nobody in here is more important than doing what is right for the right reason, for the right result. Thank you. Thank you.